Uh. Oh my god, you don't even know what's gonna happen right next. We got Urza, we have we got Venomancer, they're gonna go for the mid lane, they're gonna put pressure on Void Basher, they're gonna put pressure on the bear. Ursa going Ursa going out for the bear. Void Basher gonna ignore Vi ignore Venomancer, they're gonna come back. Uh I think it's gonna be a maybe a stalemate at this point. Let's see what's gonna happen. Puck coming in on the side, trying to flank. Looks like there was a little bit of a quarrel between Lich and one of the uh, Radiant, but apparently not. So we got four versus three. Nope. Yes, four versus three. Ursa just... Ursa goes back to Roche. You're just gonna roll or roar at him? Do you know what Ursa says to Roars? He says... I don't know what he says to Roars, but Lion coming out with a nice stun. A uh, Hex gonna take him down real easy. Void Basher not gonna be able to do anything. Needs to get off his Chronosphere. Chronosphere right now. Do it, man. Do it, man. Oh, you're gonna back off. Bad idea. Now All right. Oh, sad face. Ursa, another one of them kills. Off of Sand King. Probably didn't need to go in there. Down. Void Basher, you need to get out of there. You don't have any health left. And the finger's coming out. You got finger pretty Ooh, bad. Ooh, got finger. Ablek. Ablek. Just get out of there, man. You're a big fish. You're a big fish, but the ocean's a lot bigger right now. Slow coming out on Grab P. Yeah, he's just sticking around like, yeah, what are you gonna do to us? We just took out three of you. And the Radiant are looking really strong on the gold graph. 5,000k lead. I hit the wrong freaking button. Oh, crap. Shua? Oh, my God. What happened? I think my game just f fucking crashed. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No, I'm really not kidding you. I think my game just crashed. No! Well, either way, I got the- I got it set up so we can- we can continue. Um, but yeah, I just tried to click the gold graph and it crashed. Recording, and we're gonna do 3, 2, 1, go. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Everybody, we're back. I don't know if there's going to be a blip in the uh, replay for this, but uh, had a little bit of a technical problem, but we should be able to be back. We got we got three people versus uh, Life Stealer and Kunkka, uh, middle lane, and where are we going to go from here? I'm not sure what's going to happen next. <laughs> Ursa just double damage rune, really trying for this, really trying for this Aegis of the Immortal, but the Dire Side knows what he's doing, knows what he's up to, and we want to stop him from getting that. They just won't let him rush in peace, will they? Never. And he's back. He's just, it's, a, persistence is key, you know? Like, you're never going to get a job yeah. if you don't, like, persist. Skinny troll, he's never going to get his Aegis if you don't persist. I just got to get his team to come in now. But Puck, he knows what's up. He's going to come in. Yeah, he's right there, blinking oh, in. Oh shit, that Puck is going to die. Puck ain't doing so well, but the Lich, he knows it's up. He's going to send in his ultimate. Oh, and we got the A Black there as well to take out his ultimate, taking down two of them. Skinny Troll, steal looking worse for the wear. You steal that road. And can you can oh he gets three of them. Lysia was gonna nice. come in with the but faceless void with the chronosphere. Able to right click him down. Gush coming out onto <laughs> Lion. Life Stealer going down. And this is probably gonna be the end of Lion if there's a stun left. Sand no, King, Sand King. Him. Sand King might have been able to get him, but backs off. They're just going to take the Roche. No, they're not going to take the Roche. No, they're not. Huh. I wonder why. Maybe so they can uh, bait Ursa and catch him again. It is pretty good bait. I mean, you know, if you're fishing and you're like, nothing's going on today, but you know you got the ace in the hole, you just keep using it. So what items are we building here? Well, it looks like Sand King finally built two bracers, which is great HP for initiating. So he might be going towards his... Yep, he's going to be going towards some mana boots. Followed by a Blink Dagger. Void Basher. Finished up that Mask of Madness, so he's probably going to be going for Battle Fury. 
We got Skinny Troll coming in. He's really angry about his last failure. He's going to come in, try to get four against one, but not going to be able to make it, it looks like. Kunkka Ship coming in, trying to take out someone, but doesn't get anyone. Ursa running away with the Haste Rune. Able to get Barely away. Get nice job. Win. Snuggle is looking worse for the wear. Taken down by the Radiant. Beebs, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. Looking pretty good right now. Oh, you're down. Void Basher, three against one. You're not going to be able to make it. You don't have your Chronosphere nope. up. You're out. not going to be able to do it. Some great backtracks there to keep him alive. Those skill backtracks. Four in backtrack. Four in time lock. Two in Chronosphere. One in time lock. Not a bad choice. Mask of Madness complete. Okay, guys, here we go. 17 minute Mask of Madness. It's game time. It is the time when Void becomes a man. Who is Void Basher? Is that man fight me? Is that Bear? No, that's not Bear. Bear's playing uh, Lich. That's me. Ah, uh, you Void Basher. Okay. In the previous game, we tried an all Bash lineup where I played Invoker, but I changed my name for this one because I thought we were going to do it again. Your invoker, man. I, I do not like your invoker. What's wrong with his invoker? He uses it too well. EMP tornado, game is over. I really need to work on my invoker, actually. EMP tornado. I use EMP tornado as too much of a crutch. Most invokers and do. I don't know if you use uh, it so much as a crutch as you do a, like, steel toed boot. Puck coming in, trying to initiate on the uh, Radiant side. Not doing so well. Void Bash are getting taken out pretty easily. Ray, uh, Ravage coming out from the Tide Hunter, able to stun him a little bit. The uh, Kunker ship only hits one person, and no one did yet. But Ursa coming down, trying to take out get, A Black. We got, got three against one out of position. Nice Chronosphere. Come on, finish it off, finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. Be do man, it, do be it, man. do it, there do it. Right. Oh, there, there he goes go. down. And nice job, Sand King. We're going to catch Lion. Lion, he's running away. Sand King, five, four, three, two, one, Before we get the illusions. go. Oh, gonna shit. make it? No, not gonna nope, make it. We got the illusions it. coming out. They're gonna scare him off. No, we're not gonna scare him off. They're gonna continue. Continuing with this run up the river. And looks like they're gonna, they're gonna back, back off. Nice battle, nice battle. That could have been gone. That could have gone the wrong way, but the dire side was able to... Defend themselves, get the good positioning, and take out Ursa, and effectively sort of negating all the power of the Radiant side. Doing a pretty good job uh, keeping Ursa down. He's been too predictable in this game. Not well, even skilling his ultimate. Weird choice going for the uh, Earth Shock over Enrage. Generally, you want to get Enrage for that extra damage so you can start building really tanky. And it looks like a gang gonna go out on Puck, but he's gonna orb walk into the trees and should be nice. just fine. Nice. Orb walk, TP out. Venomancer is slow, not gonna be able to do enough. I would not have thought to do that. That was a good move. Yeah, I probably would have orb walked away and be dead. Void, double damage, Mask of Madness, Chrono coming off cooldown, looking for a kill. Not sure where he's going. Maybe just gonna get some easy CS with that double damage. So we got a lot of people in mid lane so far, but no towers going down on mid lane. We got both of them still up. Actually, we only got one tower down, no, two towers down so far. Let's see what they're able to do. Everyone's defending this lane. We got 816, 786 right now versus 589. Pretty close game, mid game, in terms of uh, hit points for the towers in mid lane. Just back and forth, back and forth. Beeb's coming in, trying to make it an initiate on the radiant side. Ravage coming out. Ah, A nice go. job. We got our Lich coming nice. out with the Ravage. Nice combination right there. Taking down the... All these AoE combos coming out. And we got Puck. He's going to finish Chrono off. Online. Finishing off Ursa. 
And we got we got now Life Stealer against 4v1. Should probably be able to take him out. His uh, BKB basically coming off, so... Oh, they're going to back off. They're going to back off. Probably not a bad that, choice. That was a very important fight right there. And Lion died without ever... Void Basher, out of place. Not sure. Out of place. Of void went up there. And Lion being taken down without using any of his spells there was not able to get the finger off. That's an important finger. It is. Maybe even a gold finger. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You see what I did there? Ever too clearly. All in a pack of Apple Jacks. Level 13 life shield. That's a dangerous life shield, level 13. Yeah, got his armlet and hyperstone looking to deal damage. I would say dealing damage. That is life shield's forte. Here comes Ursa with a haste room. Ursa! Gonna deal some damage. Just Big gonna run around. I'm just Not gonna. Not sure what he's doing. I'm oh, gonna he's go gonna top try lane. And go gank face her puck at top. You're gonna have a hard time with that. Hopefully, the other blink out. Knows he's there. Blink. Go, oh. puck, go. No blink. Yep. What? I don't know what that ability was. Oh, Ooh, into the woods. She's still visible. She's still visible. Into nice the juke. woods like nice the last. Juke. Oh, yeah. Into the woods like a middle school play. Run, run, bitch, run. Go away. Ah, oh, you're gonna die. Nice. And blocked by oh, the oh, 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 oh. That was excellent. That was skill right there. As Damn I was me. saying, into was the woods awesome. like a middle school play, but fingering coming out just like a middle school girl taking out Tidehunter. This is this is not one of the family friendly events. Nope. But we embrace it. Deniable range on this middle tower. Let's see if they're gonna pull it off. No bear Friday just night, leaving man. it off Mom bear deny that tower How many did Life we lose on the dire side there? I think we got do we lose four? Uh, I don't think so. Either way, both sides playing at their bases right now, coming out, looking for something. We got grab, we got grab P, a little bit out of place right now. Rage coming out, able to protect him. He's going to be able to retreat back behind his tower. Kunk is just farming bottom right now. Earth is in the woods, like a bear. This is the thing that happens at games at our skill level. If you get your one of your one team playing together all the time, then it basically forces the other team to play together all the time. And we got Puck coming in with an initiate, Ooh, but Puck is really out of place. Yeah, not a great idea. We have Lich Ultimate coming initiate. out again with the Ravage. Great combination with those two right there. Able to take down a ton of HP, but the finger coming out, taking him out. Chronosphere coming out. We got Ursa being right clicked down, but we had too many of the Radiant side outside of the Chronosphere. And Ablek looking worse for the wear right now. Wonder if Ursa's going to be able to take him out. Just a couple right clicks is going to be able to do the job, and he finishes it off. Void Basher escaping with just a sliver, just a sliver of health. Snuggles is uh, pretty angry with that Chronosphere. I would be too. Regeneration. Regeneration rune, and I think he's gonna take his first Ursa. I mean Roshan. You know, Ursa, he's just been going for this all game.